What up, what up, YouTube? This your boy HP, you know what I mean? We back in the building, bangs, with another video, you know what I mean? Anyway, man, we gonna be talking about, man, why your grills be so sore when you first get them, you know what I mean? I'm talking about... I got gold with everything, thing, million dollar man, man, whole lot of chain, chain, doing everything, thing, my chain, gang, playing, down, flexing up the chain, down, flame will make it change, down, just try to stay the same, down, my whip on them. It's different cases for different people. Some people might have, say for instance, you got your grill in for the first 10 minutes, that mug sores a mug. Some people have, by the end of the day, your whole grill sore, you know what I mean? Some people have, when you take it out, your mouth be sore, you know what I mean? So it's all different for all different grills, you know what I mean? Like mine, mine's at the point to where when I take mine out, I feel my back teeth more, you know what I'm saying? Like as soon as I take it out, I can feel my back teeth like biting down. So. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Like, it's different from different people. You know what I mean? So, anyway, why your grill do that? Well, because a grill is pretty much at a fixed state. You know what I mean? And what I mean by that is it don't expand. It just stays at one position. You know what I mean? So, I'll stay in one position. So, when it's time, like, when you put it in there, say for instance, you waited over some time or whatever, right? Or whatever. You put it in your mouth and it makes your grill feel sore because it's either gonna be pulling your teeth together, pulling them apart, pushing them back, pushing them forward, you know what I'm saying, or how, whatever it's doing. But a lot of times, when they make your grill, they try to make it, you know what I'm saying, to fit your mold that's on your teeth, you know what I mean? But nine times out of 10, that mold not gonna come out right all the time, you know what I mean? Like the mold gonna be either uh, the swollen, to where it's kind of tight on your teeth or the mold have been expanded to where it's too loose on your teeth. Some people, when you get your grill, you might have got your grill, tried to put it on, and it's short on your teeth because the, the mold done, um, done swollen and got tighter, you know what I'm saying, and made your actual mold of your teeth smaller, you know what I mean? But some people get that grill and it's all loose, like clink sliding in, flipping out, you know what I'm saying, real easy. And that's because when that happened, the mold done probably dried out too much and it started uh, expanding inside the mold, you know what I'm saying, or shrinking the mold. When it's, if your, if your grill short, the, the mold had expanded. If your grill real loose, the mold shrunk. So that means as it's squeezing apart, the mold, this where your mold gonna be in the inside, it's gonna be coming apart, you know what I'm saying? And if it's, swelling it's going to be coming together and getting sh it's going to be shrinking and making it smaller so it's different for different people you know what i'm saying like i don't got grills before where when you put it on your teeth it's short it still show a little white edge before it gets to your gum you know what i mean that's because the mold didn't uh set right you know what i mean or well, which either one when it's when it's too loose or it's too tight the mold didn't set right when he when it's right when you put it on your grill, it snap in like, and it feel good, it's good, you know what I mean? But a lot of times when you first get your grill and you got a whole mouthpiece, you snap it in, it's gonna be feeling real tight, like up, you know what I'm saying? And that's just how I feel, you know what I mean? But if you getting like single pieces, like a two piece, uh, four pieces, your grill start feeling sore with four pieces or better, four to three pieces, you know what I'm saying? and start making that sore feeling. But if you just got like a two piece or a single piece, and you probably won't have that problem because it's gonna be single. It ain't like two teeth fighting against each other or three teeth fighting against each other, you know what I'm saying? So, but with two with a two piece, like when I had, I had a eight piece with two on this side, two on this side, two on the right here, two right here. And I didn't have that problem, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes it'll be sore a little bit, but it wasn't nothing major. But when I started getting like 12 pieces, eight pieces, like four at the top, four at the bottom, I started feeling that. 12 at the top, 12 at the bottom, I started feeling that. 16 for sure. When I had to got that 16, that shit was so tight. I had to expand mine out, you know what I'm saying? Like pull my grill apart so it wouldn't be hurting so bad. Like that's what I did now with the ones I got in now. Like I pulled them apart so it wouldn't be hurting so bad. Other than that, that's what it is, man. You know what I mean? So. That's why your grill feel tight, that's why it hurt. It's because your gums, your teeth move over time. Like if you're, for people that don't have grills, if you notice, your teeth might be looking a certain way when at a certain age. And as you get older, your teeth be moving. Like you might have a tooth that was perfect. 
Then as you get older, that mother start twisting or going back or going forward or whatever. Sometimes that's just how what happens because your teeth just fixed in your gums and they able to move and flex how they want, you know what I mean? So that's why that's how braces work. Like braces, if you notice when people get braces, they might have a messed up grill. But the braces start pulling their teeth together, you know what I'm saying? Because your teeth still can move even though they feel like they can't move or be moving around, but they still can. They just real slow on how it forms in between your gums. I don't know how to explain it, man, but that's really what it is. The grills are stuck at a fixed point and your teeth flex, you know what I mean? And it creates a soreness and it depends on how your jewelry is, what type of jewelry you got, you know what I mean? Or how good the person is that make the grills. Some people make grills to where when you put them on, they fit and they feel good. Some people make them, when you put them on, they feel uncomfortable. Now to all the jewelers out there, man, when y'all make these grills, please, like, in the inside of the grill, y'all be having little extra pieces of gold that just be left in there. You know what I mean? From a bad mode. Clean all that stuff off, man. Clean it out real good and smooth so when they put it on their teeth, it's not messing up their teeth and stuff. You know what I mean? And so, we just need that done, like, for real. Because I had got a set of grills. So I still had, like, gold particles all in the inside of the grill, all on the edges, and it was like uncomfortable and making my teeth sore and stuff when I put them on. So, that's what it is. Peace. I'm telling y'all now, this is a bootleg okay. off-brand flip right here. I promise you, I do not flip on ground. I do not flip on ground, you hear me? Let y'all know that now, I do not flip on ground, you hear me? But I'm too tall for, for my western Oh, uh, Let me step back. I don't want to get hit with the flip flops. Ah, right, I got you. I hope Time I can. Time uh. Wait. Oh, to it, down to it. Fuck those who don't do it. We do it because we're used to it. Drink, motherfucker, drink. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, oh yeah. Don't kill yourself. That's enough. That's oh, enough. That's enough. I'm trying to go viral. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought he was going to hurt himself, boy. <laughs>